Welcome to Nice, the Mediterranean gem of the French Riviera. In this video, we'll explore the stunning beaches that will take your breath away, uncover the vibrant nightlife scene, and marvel at the beautiful architecture that tells the story of Nice's rich history. Stay tuned as we dive into the heart of this enchanting city, unraveling its secrets and helping you plan the perfect getaway. Let's embark on this journey together and find out why Nice should be at the top of your travel list. Nice, nestled along the sparkling shores of the French Riviera, is truly a Mediterranean jewel. Located in the heart of the Côte d'Azur, this enchanting city sits between the azure waters of the Mediterranean Sea and the majestic Alps, creating a stunning backdrop that captivates visitors from around the world. As the fifth largest city in France, Nice holds a significant position on the French Riviera. It's not just a gateway to glamorous destinations like Monaco and Cannes, but a star in its own right. The city's strategic location has made it a coveted spot throughout history, influenced by both French and Italian cultures, which is evident in its cuisine, architecture, and local dialect. Nice is renowned for its beautiful beaches, each offering a unique experience. While many visitors flock to the famous Promenade des Anglais, there's a diverse array of beaches to explore, each with its own charm and character. Let's start with the iconic Blue Beach, or Plage Beau Rivage. This private beach club offers a luxurious experience with its fine pebbles and crystal clear waters. Here, you can rent comfortable lounges and umbrellas, enjoy upscale dining, and even indulge in beachside massage services. The water clarity is exceptional, perfect for snorkeling or simply admiring the Mediterranean's azure hues. For a more local experience, head to Plage de la Reserve. This public beach, located at the foot of Mont Boron, is a hidden gem. Its pebbly shore and rocky outcrops create natural swimming pools, ideal for those who prefer calmer waters. The beach is less crowded, offering a tranquil setting for sunbathing or reading a book under the warm Riviera sun. If you're looking for a family-friendly option, Plage du Centenaire is an excellent choice. This man-made beach features softer pebbles and gradual entry into the water, making it safer for children. There are plenty of amenities nearby, including playgrounds and snack bars. Water sports enthusiasts will love the options here, from paddleboarding to jet skiing. For those seeking a more active beach experience, Coco Beach is a must visit. This small rocky cove is popular among locals for swimming and snorkeling. The water is incredibly clear, allowing you to spot various fish species. While there are fewer amenities, the natural beauty and excellent swimming conditions make it a favorite spot for water lovers. Lastly, we can't forget about Plage de Carras, located at the western end of the Promenade des Anglais. This public beach offers a mix of sand and pebbles, providing a comfortable spot for sunbathing. It's less crowded than central beaches and offers fantastic views of the Bay des Anges. As the sun sets over the Mediterranean, Nice transforms into a playground for night owls, offering a diverse and exciting nightlife that caters to all tastes and preferences. From sophisticated cocktail bars to pulsating nightclubs, the city comes alive after dark, promising unforgettable evenings under the stars. One of the most popular nightlife areas is the Old Town or Vieux Nice. This historic district becomes a bustling hub as night falls. Rue de la Prefecture is particularly lively, with venues like Wayne's Bar offering live music and a spirited atmosphere. If you're looking for a more upscale experience, head to the Promenade des Anglais. Here, you'll find chic beachfront bars and lounges where you can sip cocktails while enjoying panoramic views of the Mediterranean. For those seeking a high-energy clubbing experience, the Jean Médecin Quarter is the place to be. This area is home to some of Nice's most popular nightclubs such as High Club and Lombasad. Nice also offers unique nightlife experiences that go beyond traditional bars and clubs. For instance, the Casino Rule on the Promenade des Anglais provides an opportunity to try your luck at the tables while enjoying live entertainment. For a cultural evening, consider attending a performance at the Nice Opera House, a stunning 19th century building that hosts world-class opera, ballet, and classical music concerts. 
One cannot talk about Nice's nightlife without mentioning its rooftop bars. Venues like the Farrago on top of the Aston La Scala Hotel or the Le Meridien's rooftop bar offer breathtaking views of the city and the Bay of Angels. Lastly, for a truly unique experience, consider joining a bar hopping tour in the Old Town. These guided tours offer insights into Nice's drinking culture and history while introducing you to some of the best hidden gems in the city's nightlife scene. Nice's architectural landscape is a captivating blend of styles that reflect its diverse history and Mediterranean heritage. As you wander through the city, you'll encounter a fascinating mix of Italian Baroque, Belle Epoque, and Art Deco designs, each adding to the unique character of this coastal gem. The Old Town, or Vieux Nice, is a treasure trove of Baroque and Italian-influenced architecture. Here, narrow winding streets are lined with colorful buildings featuring shuttered windows and wrought iron balconies reminiscent of Italian cities. The Cathedrale Saint Reparat, built in the 17th century, is a stunning example of Baroque architecture with its ornate facade and intricate interior decorations. Moving towards the newer parts of the city, you'll find yourself surrounded by the elegance of Belle Epoque architecture. This style, popular in the late 19th and early 20th centuries, is characterized by its grandeur and ornate details. The iconic Negresco Hotel on the Promenade des Anglais is a prime example, with its pink dome and luxurious facade embodying the glamour of the French Riviera. Art Deco also left its mark on Nice, particularly in the Musicians' Quarter. The Palais de la Méditerranée, now a luxury hotel and casino, showcases the sleek lines and geometric patterns typical of this style. Its striking white facade, adorned with bas-reliefs, is a testament to the city's embrace of modern architectural trends in the 1930s. One cannot discuss Nice's architecture without mentioning the Russian Orthodox Cathedral of St. Nicholas. Built in the early 20th century, it's the largest Orthodox cathedral in Western Europe. With its colorful onion domes and intricate decorations, it stands as a unique architectural jewel reflecting Nice's historical connection to Russian nobility. For a glimpse into Nice's Roman past, visit Simias Hill. Here you'll find the ruins of the ancient Roman city of Simonilum, including well-preserved baths and an amphitheater. Nearby, the Musée Matisse, housed in a beautiful 17th-century Genoese villa, offers a stark contrast with its ochre-colored walls and traditional Niçois architecture. The Chateau de Nice, while mostly in ruins, offers both historical significance and stunning views. The castle dates back to the 11th century and showcases medieval military architecture. While the Promenade des Anglais and the Old Town are must-see attractions, Nice harbors numerous secret corners waiting to be discovered by the curious traveler. One such spot is the charming neighborhood of St. Roch, located east of the port. This area, largely overlooked by tourists, offers a glimpse into the everyday life of Nice's residents. For a unique natural escape within the city, head to the Parc Naturel Départemental d'Estienne d'Orves. This hidden oasis, nestled in the hills above Nice, offers panoramic views of the city and the sea. Art enthusiasts should seek out the Villa Arson, a contemporary art center housed in a brutalist style building surrounded by beautiful gardens. Beach lovers looking for a secluded spot should make their way to Plage Mala in nearby Cap Dai. While technically not in Nice, this hidden cove is easily accessible and offers crystal clear waters and a more relaxed atmosphere compared to Nice's bustling beaches. For a dash of mystery, visit the Crypt Archaeologique de Nice. Located beneath Place Garibaldi, this underground site reveals layers of Nice's history, including remnants of medieval fortifications and a 16th century aqueduct. Foodies shouldn't miss La Cave de la Tour, a hidden wine cellar in the old town. This family-run establishment offers wine tastings in a cozy, authentic setting. Lastly, for a unique perspective of Nice, take a stroll along the Coulis Verte. This green promenade, built over the now-covered Payon River, offers a tranquil path through the heart of the city. Now let's discuss the best time to visit this enchanting city, taking into account 
seasonal considerations, events, and weather patterns. Nice enjoys a Mediterranean climate with mild winters and warm summers, making it a year-round destination. Summer, from June to August, is peak tourist season in Nice. The sea is warm and perfect for swimming. However, be prepared for crowds and higher prices during this time. Summer also brings exciting events like the Nice Jazz Festival in July, one of the oldest jazz festivals in Europe. Spring, April to May, and autumn, September to October, are considered by many to be the best times to visit Nice. These shoulder seasons offer a perfect balance for sightseeing and outdoor activities. Spring brings the vibrant Nice Carnival in February, a spectacular two-week event filled with parades and street performances. In September, you can enjoy the Nice Regatta, a colorful sailing competition in the Bay of Angels. Winter in Nice, from November to March, is mild compared to many European destinations, with temperatures rarely dropping below 10 degrees Celsius. While it's too cool for beach activities, it's an excellent time for cultural exploration with fewer tourists and lower prices. The Christmas markets in December create a festive atmosphere, and February sees the Fête du Citron Lemon Festival in nearby Monton, a unique event featuring incredible sculptures made entirely of citrus fruits. Nice's beaches offer something for everyone. Families can enjoy the safer, shallow waters of Plage du Centenaire. Couples might prefer the more secluded Cocoa Beach for a romantic swim, while solo travelers can join beach volleyball games or water sports activities to meet new people. The city's diverse culinary scene caters to all types of travelers. Family-friendly restaurants with children's menus are plentiful romantic fine dining establishments, offer intimate settings for couples, and solo diners can enjoy the conviviality of local bistros or food markets. For cultural experiences, families might enjoy the interactive exhibits at the Museum of Natural History, couples could attend a performance at the Nice Opera, and solo travelers might find inspiration at the numerous art galleries in the city. When considering Mediterranean getaways, cities like Barcelona, Rome, Athens, and Dubrovnik often come to mind alongside Nice. While each of these destinations offers its own charm, Nice stands out in several ways. Unlike the bustling metropolis of Barcelona or the eternal city of Rome, Nice offers a more relaxed and intimate experience. It combines the sophistication of a French Riviera resort with the warmth of a Mediterranean town. While Barcelona boasts Gaudí's architectural wonders and Rome is an open-air museum of ancient history, Nice's appeal lies in its harmonious blend of natural beauty, art, and joie de vivre. Compared to Athens, which is steeped in ancient Greek history, Nice offers a more diverse historical tapestry. From its Roman ruins to its Belle Epoque architecture, Nice's history is visibly layered throughout the city. While Athens has its iconic Acropolis, Nice counters with its stunning Promenade d'Anglais and the charming Old Town, offering a more varied visual feast. Dubrovnik, with its well-preserved medieval walls, offers a step back in time. Nice, on the other hand, seamlessly blends its historical elements with a vibrant modern culture. The city's numerous art museums, showcasing works from ancient to contemporary, set it apart as a destination for art lovers. What truly sets Nice apart is its unique position as a gateway to both the French Riviera and the Alps. Within a short drive, you can be sunbathing on a Mediterranean beach or skiing in a mountain resort. This geographical advantage is unmatched by most other Mediterranean cities. Nice's culinary scene is another distinguishing factor. While Italian cities are famous for pasta and pizza and Greek destinations for moussaka and souvlaki, Nice offers a unique blend of Provençal and Italian influences. Dishes like soccer, pisseladier, and salad niçoise are distinctly local and can't be found elsewhere. The city's commitment to art also sets it apart. While many Mediterranean cities have impressive museums, Nice's connection to artists like Matisse and Chagall, who lived and worked here, gives it a special place in the art world. Lastly, Nice's pebble beaches, while perhaps not as immediately appealing as the sandy shores of some Greek islands, contribute to the incredibly clear azure waters that the French Riviera is famous for. In essence, 
while other Mediterranean destinations may outshine Nice in specific areas, few can match its overall package. Nice offers a perfect balance of history, culture, cuisine, and natural beauty, all wrapped up in the unmistakable French Riviera lifestyle. It's a city that doesn't just showcase its past, but lives vibrantly in the present, making it a truly unique gem in the Mediterranean crown. Nice is a versatile destination that offers ample opportunities for both relaxation and active pursuits, making it ideal for travelers who want a mix of both in their vacation. Balancing relaxation and activity in Nice is surprisingly easy. A typical day might start with a morning yoga session on the beach, followed by a leisurely brunch in the old town. The afternoon could be spent exploring museums or taking a cooking class, activities that are engaging but not physically demanding. For a more active day, you might start with a hike in the nearby hills, followed by a refreshing swim in the sea. In the evening, you can unwind with a relaxing dinner at a beachfront restaurant, listening to the waves as you dine. Nice's compact size works to your advantage when balancing different vacation styles. You can easily switch from an active morning of sightseeing to a relaxing afternoon at the beach, all within a short distance. Whether you prefer to spend your days lounging on the beach with a good book, exploring the city's cultural offerings, or seeking out adventure in the surrounding natural landscapes, Nice accommodates all preferences. The city's diverse offerings ensure that you can tailor your trip to your exact desires, creating a personalized blend of relaxation and activity that suits your ideal vacation style. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more travel stories. With that said, thanks for watching. And until next time, keep exploring.